We've been hearing about bad seminaries quite frequently over the past year and a half, and I've done a little bit of research to identify some seminaries that could be concerning. I have identified 22 seminaries that are associated with New Ways Ministries' list of LGBT-friendly parishes or LGBT-friendly universities. A while back, I did a video on New Ways Ministry. It misrepresents the Catholic Church's stance towards gay marriage, meaning that the organization endorses gay marriage and the Catholic Church opposes it. And New Ways Ministry also promotes Father James Martin. Francis Cardinal George, former president of the USCCB, said that New Ways Ministry was not a Catholic organization, yet they try to pose as a Catholic organization. And they have lists on their website of LGBT-friendly universities and LGBT-friendly parishes. I can link those lists below. So what I did was I identified seminaries that were nearby these LGBT-friendly universities or parishes. Just because these seminaries are right next to some of these LGBT-friendly universities or parishes does not mean that the seminaries are necessarily corrupt, but it certainly raises a lot of concerns. Archbishop Vigano and Pope Benedict XVI recently both referred to gay subcultures and seminaries. Now, if a university offers a gender studies major or they promote openly an LGBT club, this is concerning because some of the seminarians go to these universities as undergraduates and then eventually they move to the seminary right next to the universities. And the seminarians become conditioned to accepting this contradiction to the Catholic faith so that whenever they are ordained priests and eventually go into parishes, it may make them afraid to speak out against this corruption. Now as for the universities and parishes themselves, every single bishop should be alerted to this corruption. They should be alerted that there is a parish in their diocese that is named an LGBT friendly parish and they should either close the parish, remove the pastor, or change something about the parish to make sure that it's following the actual teachings of the Catholic Church. And the same goes for universities. People might say, oh, well, the bishops don't have much control over the universities. And that's certainly true. But the dioceses work collaboratively with the universities. If the universities call themselves Catholic, they should be held to the standard where they actually accept church doctrine. They should not openly contradict church teaching on homosexuality. And if they do, then the bishop should attempt to disassociate the diocese with the university, tell the university you cannot call yourself Catholic if you support teachings that are contradictory to the Catholic faith. And these parishes and universities exist in dioceses where the bishops are considered pretty good bishops. And I don't know what these bishops are waiting for and trying to shut down this corruption. I would imagine that they're aware of it. I mean, they have an idea of what goes on in their diocese, and they know that most universities have a more liberal tendency, but that's no excuse for a university calling itself Catholic and contradicting Catholic doctrine. And it's even more so less of an excuse for the parishes, for churches in the diocese, to contradict the Catholic faith. If the people in these parishes want to hold the beliefs of Unitarians, then become Unitarians. It's not in the Catholic Church. You need to accept the positive faith of the Catholic Church. So down in the description, I will list the seminaries that are linked to these universities or parishes that are pro-LGBT. And you can check it out for yourself and see if there's one in your diocese. And also the bishops from certain dioceses may send their seminarians to a seminary outside of their diocese. So just because it's in a certain bishop's diocese, that doesn't let other bishops off of the hook. So take a look down below at the information and see if there's any seminarians from your diocese that are attending these seminaries.